G'day ladies and Bruce, this is proper geek stuff this week and I guarantee there will be a hot mess, but that's for later on. So for the uninitiated to iPod mods, these guys run a little mechanical hard drive. These, I mean they're quite amazing little creatures, their hobbies include using too much electricity and catching the sads and not working anymore. But they genuinely do have little spinning platters in them and it's fun, it's like the closest thing you'll get to like a little clockwork music player. <laughs> We need to inevitably Dutch oven the Duna covers, mate. There's easy solutions to replace them. Flash cards, SD cards, get a janky board solution going on eBay. Get that 32 megs in there, mate. Get, get in, get in, get, get in, mate. Get, strange, get, no, get, there, hang on. There we go. Or you can get a dirty jank adapter and fit that in there, Jake. Get it there. Oh, God, no, oh, my, there we go. And in videos, I would call these an SSD, but then people would jump into comments and go, Mate, that's not an SSD. You can't put that in a computer. Never mind that SSD stands for solid state disk, which is what these are, but they're not an SSD. Well, mate, time to get a dog up here because. Yup. PC SSDs in an iPod Classic. And the beautiful thing is there's no jankiness or crazy mods or soldering. Basically all this magic's possible thanks to iFlash. They make the boards to make this happen. And these are built for iPods, bespoke. Those you've seen the one terabyte, two terabyte iPod videos I've done, my, it was their quad board that let me do it. <laughs> Redonkulous amounts of storage in here. But oh, by the way, Western Digital, please send me four of the one terabyte ones to borrow. We all want a four terabyte iPod. Come on, call me. And iFlash has been making these things way before it was cool to do so. Far better than the eBay special. And what I do recommend for most folks, just to get the SD card version, we're going all the way with SSDs. So we've got MSATA and M.2. We'll come back to M.2. So this kit works for this generation of iPods because they jump to this newer looking connector and it's actually incredibly easy. I mean, this guy just slots straight in. Make sure you go in at an angle and then that's it, it's in. So this is a guy that I want to put this into because for some reason it's being weird. This is the iPod that I use in the hardest iPod to open video, put a new battery in and all that. I'll put it into a computer, drag some music on it, and then it will say there's no music on it. And then when I put it back in the computer, it will say, yeah, there's no music on this. And sometimes it won't boot and sometimes it won't play stuff. So I think the hard drive's reeking of sadness. So uh, yeah, let's just put an SSD in it. I mean, this is like fixing mum's car that's running poorly by fitting nitrous to it. But it also means I have to open up this model of iPod. Oh. <laughs> This is looking like a sponsored vid. It's not. It's like when you order these parts, you might as well get more of these since I knew I'd need them. Because you don't want to use these naked ones here because they will cut you to pieces. You want ones with this covering on it. Nothing left, do it, do it. Ow, ow. Ow. I hate you. Uh. Ow. <laughs> this sucks. I, I hate opening these. Give it up, you wretched beast. Look, look at this bit. See what I mean? It's, it's so sharp. Come on, you son of a dingus. I'm sick of cutting my hands on this model of iPod. Oh, look at this. There you go. Look at that. I've just cut myself. That's when you bust out the black and gold first aid strips. People think my hands are dirty. They're just covered in scars. Welcome to being a hobbyist. Give it up, you wretched swine. Get out. Hurry up. Ugh. Oh, someone's been in here. Yeah, it's me. All right, fold that down. To derp. Oh, let's try it again. To derp. Uh, wait, one more time. To, 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 to derp. To derp. So this is just a little piece of gaff tape that I folded over itself. Just because I like to put something extra over these components. So you saw that the hard drive came out like this, but we want to put it in like this. Look how good that fits. It's like it's built for this or something. All right, let's put the battery in. Uh-huh. Yep, that's, that's good. Mate, let's see what we get. Yeah, good. Do it, Bobby. Hey, fine. Yep, yep, English is good. Yay! Go you beast, go! There you go. 128 gigs, win raw. 
Boom, just like that. That honestly went ridiculously smoothly. <laughs> Usually some problem pops up. Like literally it would just go, like unknown problem occurred. And the fix is to go into disk utility or, you know, Windows disk management and then to format this directly. And if that doesn't work, you might have to try and format it outside of an iPod. Like for instance, if you're using an SD card and you're having trouble formatting it, you pull the card out and format this separately then put it into the iPod and then format it again. And that usually fixes it. Now, normally when we're up to this point, that's when we grab the little piece of foam that it comes with to put onto there and then to seal her up. I usually add a little bit of extra foam so it's all nice and tight. But because this is a PC SSD, there's actually a different step. That's when you bust out your King Bally, mate. That's right, the SSD kits from iFlash come with this stuff. And this is thermal compound. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about the reason why in just a little bit. Ugh, it's like a slice of cheese on a Sanger. Although before we button it up completely, since these are so nice nightmarish to open, we've got to make sure everything works first. Power on. Mm. Bluetooth mode. Oh, how are you going, Daniel? It's been a while, hasn't it? You know I only want one thing, and it's disgusting. But all I want is that auxiliary mode. Auxiliary mode. Oh. Don't die, Shrek. Hey, she's working. Get that out of here. Power off. Until next time. Yeah, nice. Woohoo! SSD iPod. So you saw that, like, they already make SD kits and quad boards and dual boards and compact flash boards as well. I mean, what are the benefits of using a PC SSD? Well, it's basically the cheapest way to get to a terabyte. It's so much easier to find MSATAs in one terabyte versus having to use arrays of micro SDs, although this is getting cheaper all the time. Although a con is, you know, that King Bally business? Well, it's because these get hot. <laughs> So in the testing prior that I've done, I put a 14 video playlist on and I was just skipping through for a good half an hour, making the SSD run as long as possible to see how hot it could get. And I swear I saw 60 degrees at one point, although it was hovering in the high 50s. But this way, if I put the back of my hand on it, it was hot. It was uncomfortable. A, a pro though is that you can recycle old PC parts. The SSD that I just put in here, I just picked that up off eBay and it really looks like an SSD someone pulled out of a laptop. Uh, another downside, a kiss battery life goodbye. <laughs> In fact, I was going to test battery life. I had the same battery in the same iPod and I was going to run them one after another. But after doing that heat test, I actually killed this battery. <laughs> Mind you, this has had a vicious life. It was It's a new battery, but all it's ever done is benchmarking where I've just done tests and tests and tests. As soon as I ran the SSD and started just cranking through videos, the battery went from full to immediately red. But it doesn't matter because iFlash have done all this research for us. And uh, you can see like... Like, even compared to the original hard drive, the battery just disappears. But seeing iFlash's numbers about how much faster these are syncing and talking to computers, even through an old USB 2.0 interface, also, hey, I'll do my own tests. I've got a playlist of songs, about 850 of them. So, mate, I lined up the original hard drive, the MSATA, and an SD card. Off they go, mate. Original hard drives and lead. It won't win. No, the MSATA's gonna win, surely. SD card's playing a long game here, mate. She's holding back a bit there. MSATA's still in second. Original hard drive is, you know, still in the lead. But no way that's gonna win. It just really can't be possible, mate. MSATA's not too far behind SD cards playing a long game. I'm sure it'll catch up at some point. Well, well mate, we're getting towards the end and uh, the original hard drive is still ahead. But now, nah, come on, mate. Surely the MSATA's gonna win. I mean, because, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. And the hard drive is one and, and, uh, and the MSATA came in second and, and the SD card is still going. I mean... I don't even, I don't even know who I am anymore. Uh, so, so there you go. Uh, the SD card literally took twice as long. Uh, I, I don't know. So <laughs> I used the same iPod on the same computer with the same song files and the same cable and the same everything. I, I uh, the original hard drive one, huh? So, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Actually using the iPod, the any flash storage is way quicker than those old hard drives. But you know, at the end of the day, it's just fun, in it. But when we think SSDs now, I mean, we're thinking M dots. I did say we're going to get to this and I did promise you a hot mess. Well, let's talk the hot mess here. Now, some of you might not be aware, but I'm what you call an idiot. And when this was on the way, I didn't think to do any reading or research. I just went, let's just get an M dot. So I got an M dot. What I didn't know is these come in different lengths. And basically, 
da, 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 da. <laughs> oh no, it's too long, mate. Oh, I bet we've all had that problem, right? This won't fit inside the case. But then I realized there's an iPod this is perfect for. The Shrek pod, still going strong, mate. Look at this beast right here. She's not hindered by the limitations of its contemporaries. And so this is the ultimate Shrek pod experience. Let's see what happens. And for the record, these M.2 boards are super new. There's only a tiny list of verified hard drives at work. And uh, I did, of course I didn't read any of this. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. So there's no success guaranteed here. Oh no, I'm gonna have to undo all my brilliant engineering. Ooh, that is sticking bad. Ugh. Oh, lovely. Look at, look at this, this is, this is good. The only problem is, this doesn't stay down. It, it's flipping upwards, hang on. So we're gonna use this Pro Spec rubber band. $50 on my store, by the way. Actually, that fits really good. <laughs> hey, I don't hate that. And oh, now I realize I kinda, hang on, I gotta put that on a bit. Oh wow, this is fiddly. I said this was gonna be a hot mess, guys. It's almost like this is the wrong SSD or something. Ah. Oh. Just like at the restaurants. <laughs> oh no, the screen's popped out. Oh wait, the screen never had a place to be anyway. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. So you're probably wondering where the King Bally goes because there's no case for it to stick against to use as a heatsink. Well, uh, we're not gonna use it. Just plug it in and see what happens. There's a fire, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, that's a good start. That's a good start. Go baby. <gasps> Oh, that's a good start. Hang on, let's see if it even appears in disk utility. <laughs> wow, it's there! <gasps> Alright, you know, I'm, I'm gonna erase it in disk... Nah, scratch it. Let's just get straight into it. Go! Go, baby! She's hanging on this bit for a while, I must say. Uh, hmm. Confidence is falling away, I think. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Actual! Trick, trick, trick! Actually, I better not do that. <laughs> oh, legendary, go! Go! Spin that pinwheel! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, interesting. Check that out. It doesn't have a little tag for like what storage it is because it's 240 gigs, which is super odd. So I guess it's only got little tags for 256, 512, whatnot. Oh, mate, this is the. The Super Shrek Pod Pro. <laughs> iFlash can add this drive to the compatibility chart. Come on, show us that. Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm so happy. I <laughs> Where's that sexy speaker? Power on. Bluetooth mode. Yep. You know what I want. Auxiliary mode. It's a little bit warm, but it's nothing crazy. There you go, that's it in freedoms here, so. It's warm though, like, you can tell that stuff's going on in there. Oh, look at this beautiful engineering here. I'm not blocking. Oh, yes, you are. Donkey, I'm Amazing, oh, amazing. Oh, the Shrek pot, hang on, the Shrek pot's not handling very well. Hang on, I can't get to that bottom button. I gotta stop the Shrek. There you go. <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, look, look at this. If you want proof of the reliability of these flashboards, I mean, look what I'm doing here. <laughs> Just go to the settings, mate. <laughs> yep, two, two, three gigobytes. Matey, matey, matey. Power off. Nice work. So there you go, M dot SSD. So if you're worried about tackling this yourself, there is room for wiggling. It's pretty. <laughs> Look at that, mate. It just fits in the hand beautifully, doesn't it? If you've never flash modded an iPod before and you're looking a means to get into it, I really do just recommend the SD card ones. I mean, the fact that you can get 256 gigs, not that expensive anymore. I mean, and 128 is heaps. You know, if you're using a 6th gen, these can only see 128 gigs anyway. The thin 160 gig models are the seventh gens that can handle a gig and upwards. Because also these SSDs have little weird quirks. iFlash recommends that you don't sync for more than two hours at a time because of how hot they get. And these use a lot more battery. If the battery runs too low, it can trigger settings within the SSD and you might actually lose all your data on it. And then you've got to plug it into a PC outside the iPod to get it back. It, it's This is for the hardcore, which is me really. and I 
love this thing. I'm not taking this out. This is the Shrek Pod's new hard drive. So I'm gonna have a link down below to iFlash because these are the guys that make all this happen. If you want a flash mod on iPod and you actually want to keep it for any amount of time, I recommend spending the extra money than doing the janky business like this. You know, this is fun, but like this is just good. I mean, again, look at this setup and it works. I've also got linked down below their findings on how it compares in hard drive speeds and battery usage, all that nitty gritty detail that I just can't explain very good. I'm too much of an idiot. And really all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. I mean, especially my patrons, these stinky names right here, $1 a month, I do extra videos. And this week's vid, I'm gonna try and get this guy going. This just arrived in the mail. That's right, it's not an iPod. This is the competitor to the fourth gen. And if you wanna talk big chungus, like holy guts, creative, what the heck is this? I've never seen one of these before. It's thicker than the first ever iPod. Like, Big Chungus Express. So, we're gonna see if this even works at all. That video is already live as we speak. And folks, I'll see you all next time. I know the idea is I have a low score, but you know, if these bullets are free, I'm gonna keep using them. Can't stop me, I got an SSD.